Yeah. 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 Oh, right, so you're a pair, are you? <laughs> Mark and um, Margaret. Mark and Margaret. <laughs> um, so we went out um, on the way down, just as we got to the town centre, we met a guy called Bob who was really open and really user into, yeah. Really, it's just, it seemed to light up when we said he seemed really eager to go, but then didn't want to when we started talking. And so he prayed through the prayer. Uh, he prayed, to, yeah, we prayed for him, he prayed the prayer, and he didn't leave any details because he was going, but he did want to take the booklets and the things, and he seemed yeah, really, yeah. really yeah. grateful to receive that. And you thought, good. Was doing there. Um, so we went into a few knockbacks, but then we met a guy outside a cafe called John, um, who had a capitalism background, um, and he kind of had some sort of, yeah, some sort of connection with God. And he just he, he said, yeah, I really need to get back and I need to go back to church and rebuild that. So he, he again prayed the prayer. And he and prayed really right through the Sunday. Really hard, hard connection, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Again, just, just and he just seemed to be. And he gave his details. He's given his details yeah. as well. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Good. And then we, had, we walked down <clears throat> one of the side streets and we met two other girls uh, uh, individually, uh, both workers at Tesco's. and. Yes. Yeah, yeah. For, for me, before that, um, we'd met Reza. Oh, Reza, yes, yes. Who is an Iranian, um, who's a Christian, but didn't meet, uh, hasn't connected to the church. Wow. Yeah, so we were able to share a little bit, and yeah. we were talking about the Castle Gate um, the City Church. Yeah, good. Language studies. Language studies. Yes. yes. Gave him, gave him contact details for that, so that we really felt good to be able to do that. Fantastic. Yeah. Then we met a girl called uh, Rebecca. It's Rebecca first, eh? No, before... What? <laughs> <laughs> for, me, for me, a significant thing was, we'd had a few people who didn't want to hear for a bit, and you said, oh, we need to pray more. So I just thought, yeah, we do. And that kind of clock made me realise, actually, yeah, Lord, come on. And then straight after that, we met Rebecca and then Emma. And Rebecca was just like an open book. She was like an apple to pick. Somebody had already given her an invite to a concert that's happening. Mm. And so she said, oh, I've just received this. And so she was just really open, and we, 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 we talked her through the script, and she went all the way through, gave, you know, read the sinner's prayer, willing to give us her, her details, and went away with a happy smile on her face. Wow. Oh, fabulous. Wow. Yeah. And then we were just going to with her, and again, her body language was quite negative, but as we started to talk to her, she was very mm. open, and she went right through, read the sinner's prayer, gave us her details. very dear friend of ours, um, who's a wonderful, mighty man of God, an uh, elderly man, but he just passed away in South Africa, and my husband is actually at his funeral, and he's an evangelist who led many people to the Lord, and I just felt today this would be the best way of honoring him. Oh, and so I came with two of my, my sisters, and we've led people to the Lord on the streets Amen. today. Amen. Good. So, uh...